Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, uh, this is me Ali and I am ETA professional and instructor. Uh, today I'm here with a trick to remember the order of acids and bases. There are theories and we don't know the order and that is very difficult. Uh, Ali Educational Corner is a website www.ali-cam.com, a website of ETA and MCAT and you can follow to uh, see the new concepts we share and ETA in my pocket is the YouTube channel which is the first YouTube channel in Pakistan for ETA by Ali Educational Corner. You can subscribe to our channel and you can also click the bell icon like this one here to watch the new videos first. You can also like our Facebook page ETA in my pocket to see all the concepts and all the videos we share on the YouTube and website you can see it first so let's go to the track now order of the theories of acids and bases how will you remember this so this is a difficult job to remember the order of the theories of acids and bases but there is a simple trick to remember the order oh, so what is the trick let's come here as you know, Allied Bank Limited, there is a bank in Pakistan and Allied Bank Limited. In Allied, it starts with A, bank with B, and limited with L. So, A for Arrhenius theory, B for Brodstedt theory, and L for Lewis theory. Oh, did it become easy? So, let's go further. What does it mean? A for Arrhenius. So, Arrhenius says that a substance that contains hydrogen and produce hydrogen ions we call it proton as well in aqueous solution mean in water such as HCl will give hydrogen and a base is a substance that contains hydroxyl groups and produces hydroxyl ions OH ion in aqueous solution such as in OH you can see in HCl hydrogen ion is here hydrogen is here so it gives a proton and in here it gives uh, an hydroxyl group now B is for Bronsted Lowry acids basis so what does it say it says in the first we said we talked about the hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion what if there are no hydroxyl ions then we we talk about the hydrogen ions only and as it is an is a species molecule or ion which donates or tend to donate a proton whereas a base is a substance which accepts or tends to accept a proton for example HCl and NH3 so you can see HCl has a proton which can donate this proton but NH3 it can accept a proton so when it accepts a proton it means this will be a base and the one which donates the proton is an acid now let's go to this L not C sorry A B C no A B L allied bank limited okay <laughs> okay L L is Lewis acid and base any species molecule or ion which can accept a pair of electrons and a base is a species which donate a proton of electrons a pair of proton electrons sorry now see the first one we talked about uh, in the first one we talked about the hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion in the second we talked about the hydrogen ions which can donate and accept in the third one if there is no hydrogen so we talked about talk about the electron pair so in here accept a pair of electrons and it donate a pair of electron so these species are called acids and bases it means now we know that the acids are always the acids are always electron deficient like m plus h plus these all are proton uh, electron deficient so when they lack proton or electron deficient they will be acids and when they have more electrons or they can donate electrons it means they will be Bases. Yes, I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, so you should subscribe to our channel and you can also watch new videos very soon. And we will bring very new videos on the website.
website and uh, also we will share on our youtube channel okay see you soon allah is